So welcome everybody to uh, number 67 of the Friday morning warm-ups. And uh, it's good to see lots of you still coming along. Uh, we'll start with a clapping pattern. We're going to go back to the old days of the 3-2 Son Clave for a bit of clapping. And I think by now you can probably get your feet going at the same time if you haven't been doing that already. Um, right, you should be able to see on the screen the uh, familiar left, right, left, right indicator for your feet. And above that is the clapping pattern. 3-2 Son Clave, it's the... Um, uh, although its origins are in actually in Africa, um, it's probably most famous as coming from Cuba, and it's the kind of the, one of the pulses that you'll hear uh, featured in their tunes, and the music sort of hangs around this rhythm. Uh, but it does appear in all sorts of music right across the world. It's not just a, a Cuban thing, so it's something worth learning. And uh, right, I'm just going to set the timer for a minute, and the metronome at about 120, with a brisk walking pace. There we go, let's turn that down a little bit. And after four, I'm going to get you to clap that rhythm. And if you can get your feet going as well, please do. And just uh, get your feet warmed up. So feet going first. One, two, three, four. Left, right, left, right. Then after four, start clapping. One, two, one, two, three, four. One more time. Bang, bang. Yes, it's called clave because that's the word for key, and it's the key of the song. And it's called 3-2 because simply because there are three beats in the first bar and only two beats in the second bar. So it's as simple as that. Good. Right, uh, let's warm up our instruments. So grab your instruments, and the concert note today is C. So um, I'm going to just drone away on C, and uh, you can drone away as well on C. Or you can play something more adventurous, perhaps a scale or arpeggios, or um, treat my drone as a, a backdrop for your improvisations, if you like. So just for a minute, we're just going to twiddle our instruments and just get some energy into them. Here we go. Okay, let's move on now to the uh, chromatic part of the morning. And um, so starting on the concert note of C, uh, D for tenors, of course, and A for altos, then um, we're just going to do the chromatic scale from that concert C up to the tritone, which is F sharp. So up three tones. Um, <laughs> halfway up the octave and then back down again. 
So that's all we're going to do to start with. So I'm going to get the metronome going. So it's just going to be a... I'll just do it once just for the speed. So it'll be... Just so you know what to expect. Okay, here we go. Let's just do it once, first of all. One, two, three, four... slower um, depending on how familiar you are uh, as I always say there's no such thing as hard only unfamiliar and if you've been doing that all your life that's easy but if it's the first time you've done it that's quite hard so uh, I've slowed it down I'll just do that again uh, just once one two and three and four and <laughs> Now let's just do that four times repeated, so up and down four times. And one, and two, and three, and four, and. Now we're going to complete the octave by now starting on that high note, the tritone, the F sharp, concert F sharp, and then do the same thing but go all the way up to C, up to the octave C. So let's just do that once. So we're going from concert F sharp up to C. So it's the same kind of distance musically. Um, same interval, I think that's the correct word. Here we go. One, two, and three, and four, and. once just make sure you got that okay and that's now we'll do the same thing we'll do it as before we'll do it four times one and two and three and four and Okay, good. And uh, we'll do the whole chromatic scale now, so a little bit faster. Okay, so we're just going to do all the way up from concert C up to the octave and back down. Just once, once up and down. One, two, and three, and four, and. Again, a uh, little bit faster. Here we go, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Yep, all right, I'm not gonna go ridiculously fast today because uh, we've got other things to do, but quite a bit faster. One, and, oh, that's a bit too fast. <laughs> Um, one and two and three and four and. Actually, that's probably as fast as we have been before. One more time, just for anyone who likes to really fly through the chromatic scale. <laughs> one, two, one, two and three and four and. Okay, well that's the chromatic scale done for today. And uh, that certainly gets, well it certainly plays every note of course, and also gets most of your fingers into most of the different permutations required to play all those different notes. So, uh, well, yes, we're on to the, um, the main sheet now. So if you'd like to get that out, 
get it up on the screen or print it out as you whatever you normally do and um, right so the key um, as somebody pointed out is a relatively straightforward one C major possibly because it's the first key you learned but of course it's not so straightforward for those playing altos or tenors because your key will be uh, A major for the um, altos and D major for the tenors so um, more straightforward for those playing the white notes on the piano shall we say so we've got the C major scale first of all we'll do that and then um, as has become um, uh, traditional on this uh, session um, we're exploring the uh, what's called a two five one so I'll come to that in a minute um, so hopefully you're, you're familiar with the term two five one and what it means when I use that phrase so uh, first of all though let's just do that first bar which is simply the um, major scale. Um, so let's just set the metronome to about 80, and we're just going to play that first bar once after four. One, two, one, two, three, four. That is so familiar sounding. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Moving on to the second bar. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do that second bar again. One, two, three, four. And I'm sure um, if you're finding this very straightforward that you can, if you want to make it more challenging, um, choose a different octave, use two hands, do something different with it, <laughs> slur it, swing it. Um, or if you're just using it as a warm up, literally, stay, keep it nice and easy and just try and improve the sound and get the nicest sound you can possibly out of that scale. So let's do the uh, descending one again. So bar two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, good. Now we're just going to do the first two bars. And uh, first few bars just once through after four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. Here we go again. First two bars. One, two, three, four. One more time. First two bars. One, two, three, four. Right, let's move on. So that's a, we're in, just going to talk C major as opposed to the other keys. C major. Um, so therefore, the two. We're moving on to the third bar now. The, what I've called the two chord. So if C is one, D is two, and the way the notes fall in the C major scale. If you worked out the chord, which is the and that will be the root, the third, the fifth, and we're including the seventh as well. The root, third, and fifth, and seventh, starting on the D, you will have the notes D, F, G, oh, sorry, D, F, A, and C. And that makes a D minor seventh chord. So it will be D minor seven for the uh, people in C, and for the people in A, it will be B minor seventh, and for the people in D, it will be E minor seventh. So you might want to note that on your bit of paper. So anyway, um, so this is the two chord as an arpeggio. So it's the root third, fifth and seventh. Let's just play it. So we're just playing bar three after four. One, two, three, four. You might want to stick the tonic on the end as well, just to round it off. And <laughs> this is just the root third, fifth and seventh. One, two, three, four. Root, third, fifth, seventh. 
just finishing off with another D. So this is a minor chord, as you can hear. One, two, three, four. So that's uh, concert D minor seventh. Let's move on to the five chord. And this is the uh, what's sometimes called the dominant chord in a key. So if you're in C, the dominant seventh chord is G7. So hopefully you can work out your own dominant seventh chords for your keys. And this is the arpeggio for the dominant seventh, the root third and fifth and seventh. Here we go. So we're on bar four now. One, two, one, two, three, four. And I'll finish it off with a root note after this one. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. There we go. Round it off. One more time. One, two, three, four. And then finally, after a 2-5 progression, you resolve it to the 1 chord. So therefore, this last, or penultimate bar, penultimate two bars, um, the 1 chord arpeggio will be concert C major, and it will be C major 7. So it will be a C, E, G, B. So let's play the last two bars with that minimum on the last one. After 4, 1, 2, one, two, three, four. That one does resolve. And again, one, two, three, four. So um, this wouldn't normally be played in uh, a piece of music because it's just going up the arpeggios from the root note each time. But we'll play bars three to the end of that line uh, just going up the arpeggios, and uh, but it's a good thing to warm up on and to make sure that you understand your arpeggios. Um, you will find a bit of a <laughs> certainly on depending on your instrument, there's a big leap from the top of the uh, second chord arpeggio down to the beginning of the uh, a drop of probably in the 11th. That will uh, Give you a bit of a workout. So let's do bars three to six and watch for that big leap at the end of the bar three down to the low note. Here we go, right from three to the end. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yep, starting to sound like something, isn't it? Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. Again, one more time. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, well that's, uh, they're, that's just the arpeggios of the 251 in the uh, key of C major. Um, okay, moving on now to the um, uh, the ascending major scale in thirds. So uh, same as what we did the last couple of weeks, same pattern. So each, uh, we're going up, up the scale, but in jumps of major and minor thirds, depending on which note you're on. So just, just going to do the whole line, left to right, at the same tempo. Second line, here we go. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. If you can um, sing it at the same time, it helps internalize. And uh, when you're playing pieces of music, if you've got the thing in your head already, 
uh, does help you learn the actual piece. So um, sing, if you're on the right sort of instrument, sing at the same time. One, two, three, four. Da, da, da. it made me make mistakes <laughs> need to practice that one right onto the third line same thing same rhythmic pattern same idea in thirds but coming down after four second third line one two one two three four that's in thirds it's still the sound of the scale the sound of the key and that's coming up that was going up and coming down in thirds and there's nothing to stop you working out how to do that in fourths go up and up the scale in fourths go up the scale in fifths go up the scale in sixths go up the scale in sevenths go up the scale in octaves there's no limit so uh, for a rainy day perhaps right we're going to move on to the more rhythmic side of um, the uh, warm-up. And uh, the patterns I've got here, they're all still based on the 2-5-1 idea. Um, and they're still all using notes from those arpeggios, those chords, or chord tones, another word for it. Um, but this time I've just mixed it up a bit. I haven't mixed it up too much because it does make it a little bit tricky. I was probably being a bit adventurous here. Um, so we're just going to look at the first bar of the penultimate line uh, and you can see that the notes are a little bit more up and down um, so I'm not just going up and down the arpeggio here that, so, um, but they are still all chord tones they're all from the two chord arpeggio um, so we're just going to play that first bar Yeah, and uh, you'll see there, there is a little bit of a pattern going on here. So, um, so let's just play that first bar. So it's breaking out of this idea of just playing up or down an arpeggio starting on the root note. Well, we do start on the root note in this case, but it's not uh, just then going up linearly. So here we go, just on the first bar. One, two, one, two, three, four. Four. I hit the wrong note at the end. Let's do that again. Two, three, four. Okay, and again. One, two, three, four. Da, da. One more time. One, two, three, four. Hope you get the idea. You're still playing chord tones from concert D minor seven. Um, if you're playing a piano, are you doing this while also playing the chords with your left hand? Uh, okay, on the five chord now, so we're on the second bar of this line, similar idea, except it's going kind of the other way around. But um, okay, after four, second bar, one, two, three. Now on its own, sounds a bit weird, but you wait till you hear it in context. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And one more time. One, two, three, four. Right, shall we try, no, I wouldn't say try, shall we play those two bars together? So we're going to play the first and second bars. One, two, three, four. And again. One, two, 
three, four. That's me making a funny note there, so not you. One, two, three, four. Uh, good. Um, yes, if you heard one or two weird notes, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> right, on to the um, one chord now on this penultimate line. And so we're just going to... Shall we have a go at playing... Oh, no, we won't. Let's just do the first bar first. So, bar three. It's getting those leaps in. They're not easy doing those uh, musical leaps. It's one thing going up and down a scale or an arpeggio, but making big leaps. Uh, we're going up a... Um, major seventh here this first interval on the third bar which uh, is not easy on any instrument so here we go third bar one two one two three four Now the fourth bar starts with a drop of an octave. After four, one, two, three, four. And one more time. After, uh, after four, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's just play bars three and four together. One, two, three, four. One more time, bars three and four. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. I hope you're uh, keeping this together. And uh, something to practice afterwards if it's tricky. I know this is not easy on any instrument. Um, I'm concentrating like mad here. So the whole line, let's do all four bars. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, And one more time, then we'll move on. One, two, three, four. Oh, right. That was, uh, that was a little trial, a tryout. Let's go on to the last line now, and because uh, time is moving on, and I know you've got things to do. So, um, right, there's, uh, let's just do the first two bars. In fact, I think we'll be brave enough to just play that straight off. Uh, I'm just going to slow it down slightly there. Uh, this is a little bit more like going up and down the arpeggios. So it's a 2 5 1 again, but it's in uh, the half bar of each chord rather than two bars. So, we're just going to play. As written, first two bars. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay. So it's up the two, down the five, and up the one, and down again. Here we go. One, two, three, four. time one two three four good and uh, one more to do and uh, the bars three and four then 
on the sheet, the last two bars. So this is a coming down one, going up and coming down. <laughs> one, two, three, four. That sounds nice. Do that again. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll leave two five ones. Actually, we're not leaving them behind, are we? Because we're moving now on to the strumming bit where I strum. And ah, look, we've got two five ones. So any of those patterns I've just been doing, you can actually play them across these chords here if you wanted to hear them played against the harmony. Otherwise, just uh, you know what to do. So either strum along, play some chord tones, just noodle about in the key, make, make up some melodies. Write a song, anything you like. Here we go. One minute strumming and then we're finished. One, two, three, four. One more, here we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. My, uh, the grains of sand in my egg timer suddenly got stuck, so I didn't know what a minute was. <laughs> okay, that's it, everybody. Uh, thank you much, as always, for coming along, and we'll carry on. Ah, no, I'm not here next week. Oh, just realised. Oh. I'm Right, okay. Off. So two weeks time. Um, it'd be lovely to see you all again. And uh, yeah, have a good couple of weeks. Thank you very much. Thank you.